you're the superb back with another video and i just got done checking out this movie called last straw man you could stream this uh i know it's not on streaming but you can get this on vod uh this is starring jessica belkin not too familiar with her i just see on her just uh her filmography she's got a few mute movies and whatnot you know she's kind of she's new to me pretty much but this movie was fascinating i'm not going to get into any spoilers because man this movie has a lot of interesting go things going for it now jessica she plays nancy in this and it opens up with nancy figuring out that she is pregnant and she's having this conversation with her friend and throughout this day throughout the day this whole revelation is kind of like fucking with her she's kind of annoyed she works at this diner that her father owns and that's where majority of this film takes place but what's interesting about this movie is it's one of those two perspective types of stories but continue on with just how we get introduced to jessica she kind of takes out her frustrations and having to work the night shift with a person that she doesn't really want to work with on top of being harassed by other customers and stuff like that she starts to just take this frustration out on everybody to the point where she is firing workers just for pissing her off or just not like sticking up for her it's crazy you know at first when you meet nancy's character you don't like her, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you're doing way too much. Then we finally get to the night shift and this is where things start to really kick off as she's all by herself, you know what I'm saying? When, you know, you didn't have to do all that. She starts to kind of get paranoid because she starts to hear things outside of the diner and she's thinking it's the people that were harassing her earlier in the movie not going to go into spoilers but yeah this movie was really interesting i like the whole two perspective type of storytelling or the multiple different perspectives you know what i'm saying and that third act was pretty damn wild as well i would really highly recommend checking this out if you're looking for a dope thriller home invasion horror kind of movie Overall, I think this will be up your alley. I really, really enjoyed the soundtrack. The soundtrack to this movie slapped. It's really well shot. You know, it's very clean. The performances are really good. Yeah, man, like, moral of the story, though, kids don't do drugs. But yeah, that's just my quick thoughts on this movie. Let me know if you get around to checking it out. What are your thoughts of it? Till next time, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.